Barefoot Racing Adventures. We're here at Volusia Speedway Park. All right, I'm here with Jesse Enterkin. Late models, it's a learning curve for sure. Run 602. I think I want to get behind the wheel of a capital, so hopefully that'll speed me up a little bit. Oh, absolutely. What different tracks do you plan on running? You know, be able to get around the tracks at home, be competitive before we go anywhere else. It's funny, Jonathan talking about your quick hands. Yeah. I think that's important, I, though. Well, I mean, I, I think I do uh, turn the wheel a little much. Um, I think it's just being uncomfortable. I'm really looking forward to, to driving the Capitol to see if maybe my hands slow down with a little bit more solid setup, I guess. Sure. You say. Yeah, like you said, we have a good relationship with Capitol. We kind of know where these cars need to be, so I won't really have no excuses, what I'm telling you. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, you know? Yeah. I mean, done great so far, and you got yeah. great people behind oh, you here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's exciting to be able to watch you come up through. Yeah, there's a lot of people watching me learn how to drive a late model you know not everybody has to deal with that you know so it's kind of a lot of pressure dude you know that that's a good point because typically people don't get much yeah. notoriety until they whenever somebody's learning you don't get watched you know and um, i feel like i'm, I'm closely watched uh, with all youtube and everything a lot of pressure like, it you is. know what you handle it really well though i try to you do great i get camera. flustered but yeah. you know we got joseph here people get to watch him and jonathan they've been racing late models for they set the bar high Sure. Saying, so. yeah. but I'm looking forward to big things. Maybe picking up my first win this year. Maybe. Hopefully. Absolutely. You know what? And like you said, as I saw in one of your YouTube videos, if you can win one, there ain't no reason you can't win three. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was I think that was one of our podcasts, actually. Oh, yeah. Patreon. You know, they asked me what my goals were for this year. And if I can win one, which is my goal, is to win one, then I'll be able to win three by the end of the year. And hopefully I'll get more races in this year than I did last year. Well, you only race maybe half a dozen times or so? Oh, uh, yeah, like seven, yeah. maybe eight at the most. I'm watching closely, man, and everybody else is. So yeah, absolutely. Pressure's on, but don't let that bother you. Just go out there and have fun. You only live once here in this world, that's so right. make your mark. That's what you're doing, man. That's so right. I appreciate right. you very Thank much. You. Tell me about your night last night. I saw a little bit of it. I think I might have captured you hitting the wall. Starting 18. Ugh. Two, sevens and jump the cushion run out of talent yeah <laughs> i don't know about that man you were pushing you were going forward that's right to seventh demanding track that was super slick racing a lot like east bay you couldn't really steer and a lot of people had trouble turning if we could steer better we'd be a lot better off and work on that tonight and get ready for the big night yeah, that's it it's brother. just two practices that pay that's yeah. how we look at it that's yeah right. that's right good so i'm glad you're back together and you're gonna keep it going do the best we can thank you richie thank you i'm here with brandon shepherd tell me about how your night went last night not the start that we wanted that's for sure you know we made some wrong changes after hot laps and qualified bad so tonight we got to work on qualifying better make our night a little bit smoother hopefully so that's the plan yeah i think we learned a little bit on the car last night the dirt's definitely different than it used to be the surface was just so slippery you know and the cars couldn't activate like they needed to and we had to run up against that cushion for the most part we were in the back and we were trying to move around and trying to pass guys and it just was it was a tough night so we're gonna work on it and see what we can do What's your name again man terry bronson terry bronson man you man, what's your name terry bronson terry bronson you're Kyle's brother. Yes, sir. You really put on a good show last night, man. Really. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Running a Warrior chassis. Yes, sir. 07 Warrior. 07. And it's the only Warrior in the whole field. The only one. But after this week, there's going to be about 10 more of them after we win this race. That's what I like to hear, man. Almost left. You can't run that car. You go out there and win this race. Yes, sir. Excellent. Outside, right, you got to stay in that clean air and run where everybody else ain't. You're moving forward. Track was slick. It's like asphalt with oil. You gotta run that cushion. Get it. Well, you did a good job, man. Corey Hedgecock, tell me about your night last night, man. Set fast time, started 10th. Um, 
eventually got the fifth. So we were a little off last night, couldn't leave like I really wanted to, but to get into the center is probably as good, if not better than most. Looked good, you're moving forward, so I'm looking forward to tonight. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Bodie Stratton. Bodie Stratton, so you've seen the video. I've seen a lot. Well, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, we're actually racing them two cars right there behind you. So you're the 30, dad's 42. Yes, sir. Awesome. This racing thing is a family affair a lot of times. My dad used to race before I was born, and then we didn't start racing until a year ago. Second year, you're feeling comfortable? Oh, yeah. Of course, the first time was pretty scary. I felt like Ricky Bobby, not going to lie. <laughs> but uh, the more races I get in, the more comfortable I get with it. Nice to meet you. Hunter Gaines? Yes, sir. Hey, nice to meet you. So you've seen the videos? Yes, sir. You're my cousin, Ricky Steve. Oh, well, that was a cool episode where I captured Richie. Yeah. Hold his win. Yes, sir. I was there. I was crew chief before. So I said, get her past uh, Cal Bronzy. I'll wave at him. And he, he did. did. Yes, sir. <laughs> he did. That was crazy. Nice to meet you, brother. Dan Stone. You doing good. Sun's out. Sun's Not working. <laughs> you know, you did great work last night. Came up just, just short. You know, the cars seemed to get tighter as the track got slick. <laughs> Nothing's the same. Oh, it's crazy. It'd be like back then if we were running pure stocks compared to what they are now. Technology evolves. One of the big changes in the last five, six years, all these NASCAR teams cutting their workforce and those engineers are finding their way in the dirt. We run a lot of technology that like what NASCAR uses on Sunday now. Those engineers are just so smart. They make stuff work better and our cars are just so hooked up to the racetrack now. They look a lot different than they did 20 years ago, that's yeah. for sure. I'm about to strap a camera to this thing and go ahead and let her eat. All All right. Right. Thanks for being with us. Barefoot Racing Adventures! 